Hey there YouTube, it's Shalia. For those of you who might not know, I'm actually an anime geek. Or, at the very least, I used to be. I guess some people might not consider me one now, just because I haven't, you know, been active in geek culture recently. Life kinda got in the way of being a fangirl, unfortunately. I still like anime and manga. I still, you know, get nostalgia when I come across something that I've liked in the past. I just have, you know, horrible self-discipline when it comes to getting things that I need to get done, done. Therefore leaving no time for fun things like reading manga or watching anime. The reason I bring this up is a lot of my other, you know, geek friends will soon be going to this convention and I'm kind of internally crying because I can't go this year. I don't have time, money, or a car. Say la vie. But what this all got me thinking about as I was scrolling through Facebook and saw, you know, all their cool pictures and Facebook status updates about their cosplays that they've been working on for however much time. It got me to thinking about the last time that I actually went to this convention. On the last day of that particular year, there was a panel that was held. The title of the panel was Sociology in Cosplay. Admittedly, part of me kind of wanted to see if there was anything in it that I could potentially use for extra credit because in my university, anthropology and sociology tend to cross over a lot with credits. Unfortunately, that bit didn't happen. The panel itself was still really fun. Actually, it's kind of interesting because the panelists themselves never showed up. So we just turned it into an open forum and got into these big debates over why we cosplay. From an outside perspective, cosplay looks really weird as a social practice. I mean, you know, we're, what, teenagers and grown adults dressing up in costumes in public? when it's not Halloween. You gotta admit it looks kinda odd from the outside. So it got me to wondering, why do we do it? Based on what I can remember from that panel and from my own personal experiences and observations, I've come up with a few basic hypotheses to maybe explain why do we cosplay. Because I know I can't be the only one to have thought about this, considering that there was an entire room filled with people at this panel discussing this subject. First main hypothesis is what I call geek chic. And it's basically the idea of being a geek or a nerd is actually now considered cool by some standards and you want to show off that you are enough of a geek or nerd to be accepted in that community and so you cosplay to show that off. Basic idea that ran behind this during the panel was people in like my parents or grandparents generations that were considered geeks, nerds, dweebs, dorks, all that they're the ones who were getting shoved into lockers for liking what they like. They're also a lot of times the ones who grew up to be really, really successful. And they had kids eventually. Those kids get brought up in an environment where they learn that geek culture and they learn that it's okay to like certain things like that. Eventually, enough kids grew up in such an environment like that, that it actually became mainstream and therefore cool, or chic, to be a geek. Basically, it gets down to you want to prove that you are, in fact, a geek, and so you have to show off your knowledge, and you have to 
cosplay to show that you are a geek. Second big hypothesis is the sports jersey theory. Goes along the same basic concepts of sporting events like Super Bowl, Stanley Cup, stuff like that. You have fans of different teams who go to these games. What are those fans going to be wearing but paraphernalia of that particular team? I live in Minnesota. Don't even start on the Vikings. But we do have these, like, hats that are purple hats with Viking horns and, like, gold yarn braids. braids. Gold yarn braids that go down the side. People wear that stuff to sporting events, and it's to show their support for their favorite team or their home team. Same basic concept can be applied to cosplay as being in support of your favorite anime or manga or show or comic book hero or whatever. And so it, that one is definitely an understandable theory. I've definitely cosplayed just for the sake of I love this anime or manga and I want to dress up as someone from it. Purely for that sake. Even if it doesn't look anything like me. Which in turn makes it a pain in the butt to actually make the costume. Which actually leads me to one of my other points. The third hypothesis is basically to show off your crafting skills. This is more specifically applied to people who put in the time and effort to make their cosplay, as opposed to some people who buy them. You can show off your abilities to actually make your things and make them look good. It's a really cool feeling to look at a piece of clothing or a prop that you've made yourself with your own two hands, and you know that it actually looks right. And it's fun when people start to compliment you on your work, and it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Fourth basic hypothesis, the child at play hypothesis. It, cosplay, it's basically playing dress up. We're a bunch of grown ass adults playing dress up. Awesome thing about that? It breaks down a lot of social barriers. Some of you might remember when you were a little kid and you could make a friend instantly for no apparent reason other than you both wanted to play catch with the ball at the playground or whatever. Basically, cosplay gives us a form of escapism the same as whatever media format that we are cosplaying from gives us that same form of escapism. Reality sucks, and it's really fun to see it from a child's point of view again. And sometimes, even if you're dressing in a very adult cosplay, it can make you still feel like a kid just because you're dressing up for the sake of dressing up and having fun. I personally like that just on a warm, fuzzy feeling sentimental perspective. Overall, cosplay, yeah, it's silly. To some people it might even look stupid or it might make other people call cosplayers freaks. That particular convention I keep mentioning. Yeah, people actually got banned from the local mall when that convention is going on because people got so freaked out by cosplayers coming into the mall to get, you know, burgers from the burger joint that was inside the mall. So, sometimes you just kind of gotta go through it. But honestly, it's worth it to me. It's fun. And it's silly. It's a great way to make friends. Also, random note to my fellow cosplayers or future cosplayers. If you're heading off to a convention, make sure to bring, like, a little Altoid tin or something of similar size that is filled with sort of emergency cosplay kit stuff. Basically, if you bring along safety pins, bobby pins, thread and needle, and bandages, you will make so many new friends. But, uh, anyway, what I was saying before, 
Yeah, cosplay is weird. It's silly. It's kind of ridiculous how much time and effort and money that goes into it. But it is so worth it. And it is so much fun. And honestly, these are just, you know, my hypothesis on why we uh, cosplay. But I'm kind of curious to hear what other people have to say about this. Why do we cosplay? If you got any ideas of it, any hypotheses of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you feel like listening to more videos of me jabber on at a camera like this, feel free to subscribe too. I'd really appreciate it, guys. All for now. Bye.